package lost in the wind, locked inside a local man's supply of life-saving medication. Only News 5's Kevin Berry spoke to a passenger who lost bags on a Greyhound bus months ago and says no one can seem to find them. Alvin Rogers was taking the Greyhound bus from Sandusky to Pensacola, Florida, but his headache started in Atlanta. They was telling me that I couldn't go into Pensacola because of the storm. That storm was Hurricane Florence back in September. While he was stuck in Atlanta, Alvin was told his three bags were sent to Pensacola on another bus. I said, well, how can my luggage go to Pensacola in a storm and I can't? It's, I mean, you still got to be on the bus. That was the first time Alvin was separated from his bags and thousands of dollars worth of medication that he needed for an extended trip. When he finally got to Pensacola a day later, his bags were nowhere to be found. So I had to wind up buying a, a plane ticket to get back to Ohio so I could get my doctors to get me some more masks. A month after the trip, still no bags, despite constant calls from Alvin's roommate, Karen Lucas. A fiasco. I get transferred constantly. Uh, the representatives pass the buck. She says they could get $200 for each of the three lost bags through Greyhound's claim process. But the emergency plane ticket was nearly $500 itself. The original Greyhound ticket was about $200, including extra money paying for help loading and unloading the luggage. And Alvin can't get that back. For all the good it did, I still wind up losing everything. And Alvin's claim form identifies $6,000 worth of medicine and personal items lost in the bags. Everything he owns was in those bags because he planned on relocating. And Karen says when she reaches out to Greyhound for help, she gets nowhere. For them to be as nonchalant, you know, about the situation, I feel it's really, really sad. Greyhound tells me they're still looking for Alvin's bags, and even once they're found, Alvin says he'll probably have to come to Cleveland and the Greyhound station here, or one of Ohio's other bigger cities, because Greyhound tells him they don't deliver bags to smaller drop-off spots like the one in Sandusky. In Cleveland, I'm Kevin Barry, News 5.